Clerk will call the roll. Glenn Whitley, County Judge. Here. Roy Charles Brooks, Commissioner Precinct 1. Andy H. Wynn, Commissioner Precinct 2. Gary Fickus, Commissioner Precinct 3. Here. J.D. Johnson, Commissioner Precinct 4. Here. Constitutes a quorum. Thank you. Our invocation this morning will be delivered by Kent Benford from the Baker Boulevard Church of Christ in Fort Worth. Appreciate you coming out today. Uh, after the invocation, please remain standing for our pledges. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this morning that you've given us. We thank you for each day that you give us, Father, and we thank you for this day that you have made, and we pray that we would rejoice and be glad in it, and that we would do everything in our power, Father, today to serve you. Uh, Father, I pray that you would be with this court this morning. I pray that you would be with these men as they make uh, decisions um, for our county. I pray, Father, that you would grant them wisdom and discernment. I pray, Father, that you would uh, give them the, the ability to see through these issues, Father, that are going to be before them today, uh, that they would make, Father, the right decision, uh, that they would do things uh, that are for the best, Father. Uh, and Father, I just pray your blessings upon uh, this meeting today, Father. We pray your presence uh, be here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Agenda announcements, Mr. Manius. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the Court, uh, we do not have any announcements as it relates to today's agenda. However, I'd like to just simply advise the Court that uh, this coming Friday, the 15th, we are going to be meeting at 10 o'clock in the morning. The Commissioner's Court is to canvas uh, the votes of the constitutional election. That shouldn't take more than, than 10 minutes at the most. Then also, members of the Court, um, next Tuesday, after, after the regular session of Court, we are going to go into a into a workshop as relates to strategic planning. We have asked you all, and you all have cleared your calendars for both uh, Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday. And that meeting will be held in 504C. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, we've got a couple of resolutions or resolution or proclamation today, and the first is uh, one honoring our uh, our veterans. It's Veterans Awareness Week, and I'm going to read this into a record, and then we're going to recognize uh, uh, the veterans who were able to come down today. Um, and I guess uh, Chester, uh, our director, why don't you come on down, and we will. Uh, where's, there he is. Um, whereas it is appropriate to salute those tens of thousands of men and women who have served and are serving in America's arms. Recognize that during the past century, hundreds of thousands of Americans have given their lives while serving in the armed forces. And whereas currently over 200 Tarrant County employees are among the brave men and women who have or are serving in the armed forces. And whereas each November, Veterans Day is set aside as a time to honor those men and women who have so ably served in the armed forces of the United States. And whereas the contributions and sacrifices of the men and women who served and are serving in the armed forces have been vital in maintaining the freedoms and the way of life enjoyed by the people of the United States. And whereas while we can never hope to fully repay these courageous men and women for their distinguished service to our nation, we can and must show our appreciation for their sacrifice. And whereas Veterans Day is observed on November the 11th, regardless of what day of the week on which it falls, for preserving the historical significance of the date and, the focus, and to focus attention on the important purpose of Veterans Day, a celebration to honor Americans' veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good, 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby recognize the week of November 11th through 15th, 2013, as Veterans Awareness Week, in witness whereof we have hereunto set our hand and caused the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed this 12th day of November, 2013. I'll move its approval. Second. Second. Show us all as the seconds. Um, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Um, before we before I come down and present the plaque, I would like to, to recognize those individuals who are here today and the different services that uh, they represent. And uh, let me begin by asking the Marines to, uh, to please stand. <laughs> Next, Air Force. <laughs> Next, the Navy. <laughs> Next, the Coast Guard. No one from the Coast Guard here today. Uh, last, the Army. Say thank you on behalf of all the veterans of Tarrant County. Thank you. Thank you. Again, it's just, uh, you know, it is a small uh, token of the appreciation that we have for each one of you who have served and, and sacrificed. Um, it continues, and as a result of that, we're able to meet here uh, we're able to speak freely and uh, have civil dialogue about things. So we, again, thank you very, very much for, uh, for the sacrifices that you've made. Uh, the next proclamation that we have is for Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital, HEB. And uh, I'm going to actually present that. Gary, Commissioner Fickus and I will uh, present that later on this week. And so I would move for its ratification. Second. So uh, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, Did we approve the minutes? No, we haven't, but we're going to go back here in a minute and get that. I'll move approval of the minutes. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Um, we have a number of special events occurring uh, this week. I know that uh, uh, last Friday, Commissioner Brooks had a uh, breakfast. I know you had a special event. Uh, I, we're going to have today, Mary Louise is having a hot dog sale, I believe, outside. I hope she can keep those buns warm. Oh, just downstairs. I thought she was cooking outside. Oh, so she's brought it inside. Oh, ah, okay. Well, you know, it's, it's nice to know those things. Tomorrow we're going to have a little Frito pie, uh, chili Frito pie sales here in the building. And then uh, transportation, I think, is having a barbecue on Friday. We're, we're doing an awful lot of stuff for United Way. Uh, I'm excited. I appreciate everybody's hard work. Um, I would also remind you that those forms for your individual commitments are due uh, soon. Before Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving. Uh, and I really don't want to be feeding the mayor lunch down in the plaza uh, earlier or later on, uh, I guess it's the first part of December. So please, as you fill out those forms, just remember that we're in this not only to help the community, but we're in it to beat Fort Worth. <laughs> and, we, and, and we went back to a per capita, uh, which is what got me pedaling a bike the last time. 
<laughs> so uh, let's, you know, each one of you individually think about this and uh, do whatever you can do to, uh, uh, to help the United Way as we go forward. Um, Your Honor, did yes. you also announce that those of you who have ordered tamales, pick them up tomorrow? Okay, the tamales are ready to go tomorrow. They are. And that's what I appreciate the administrator's office. They do that every year. And a lot of special events. You can uh, need some tamales with your frito pie? That that work well. That really that would that would go well. Um, court members, you have before you the consent agenda. Move for approval of the consent agenda. Second. We have a motion to second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> members of court, we have one final item to bring to you this morning. This concerns. Uh, uh, a request of the Commissioner's Court to approve the issuance of Series 2013 hospital revenue bonds in one or more series by the Tarrant County Cultural Education Facilities Finance Corp for Hendrick Medical Center, which is located in Abilene, in the amount not to exceed $75 million. Uh, the proceeds of this, uh, of this um, sale is going to uh, refinance uh, three different bond issues that we approved in uh, uh, 2009 plus it's also going to allocate approximately 58 million dollars to finance construction uh, renovation and equipment equipping the Hendricks Medical Center's long-term acute care hospital which is located in Abilene Move approval second we have a motion to second any discussion in all of these we do um, make sure that we have the support or some sort of letter of support or some support indication from either the city and or the county in that particular area? That's correct, yes. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Tidwell? We have one item for the court's consideration this morning, and that's requesting that the court approve the release of the $194 million of collateral and the substitution of securities outlined in the court communique. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion. Second. Any discussion? Please vote. Thank motion you. passes unanimously. Um, afterwards, Ray? Uh, elections. I know Steve's freezing in Chicago, so. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're here today to ask the court to uh, approve the precinct boundary changes uh, that occurred during the first called session of the uh, 83rd legislature. This is a uh, House Plan uh, 358. The proposed boundary changes um, created several new precincts. Uh, we created 10 new precincts, um, one in Precinct 1 and 9 and Precinct 4. And uh, we're here to ask the court to, uh, to approve these changes this morning. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Ange, come on up. Good morning. Good morning. We're here to ask that the court receive and file the personnel agenda. Move to receive and file the personnel agenda. Second. We have a motion and a second to receive and file the personnel agenda. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Beecham, you're kind of hiding. You're in the wrong place. How many conference games have they won? How many games have they won? Well, don't worry about just conference. I didn't do too well last week. You know, so I'm admitting that. But how many of y'all won? I have a story. <laughs> I didn't ask um, for your story. I asked you and, and, and a statement. Um, last week, after Baylor and Oklahoma played, I called Mr. Duff. I said, "Do you know the difference between Arkansas and Oklahoma?" And he said, "About five wins." <laughs> I said. No, that's not really it. I said you've only had you've only been embarrassed twice on national television this year. So, and LSU now just once. But we have one item for your consideration this morning. Um, it is a bid award recommendation for bid 2014-009. It's our semiannual contract for copy paper and stock computer forms. Recommendation will be to award a pre enterprise basis, awarding to the primary and secondary vendors meeting all specifications as shown in court communique. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Are there any appointments? 
Being none, then you have before you the claims, including the addendum. Move approval of the claims, including the addendum. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the claims, including the addendum. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Briefing items, Mr. Mayes. Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> Members of Court, we have two items we'd like to bring to you this morning. The first one is an update on the educational outreach of the Cooperative Extension uh, Service. Uh, Ms. Trailer is here to address the court. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor and members of the court. My name is Shannon Johnson Lackey, and I'm joined this morning with my colleagues Cassius McAllister and Tiffany Trailer. We're pleased to be here this morning um, and share the opportunity to give you information about the Cooperative Extension Program. As part of the 1890 land grant, um, university here in the state of Texas, the Cooperative Extension Program strives to meet the needs of limited resource audiences throughout Texas. We're currently located in over 25 counties, but we're continuously looking for additional opportunities to extend our outreach. We are essentially the educational <coughs> outreach arm of Prairie View A&M University. CEP agents, or the Cooperative Extension agents, serve in the areas of community and economic development, agricultural and natural resources, family and consumer sciences, and 4-H and youth development. In Tarrant County, the program areas represented by C Cooperative Extension Program are in family and consumer sciences and 4-H and youth development. Tiffany Trailer will now step forward to speak with you about family and consumer sciences. Hello, I'm Tiffany Trailer, and I am the Family and Consumer Science Agent here in Tarrant County. Um, as a part of my program, the areas that I primarily focus on are childhood obesity, parenting, financial management, and food safety. So as a part of those programs, we offer um, lesson series to the community, or we can do the one-time events. But as a part of the um, series programs, we do ask to get evaluations just to make sure that the programs that we're offering are being beneficial and um, they are helping to make differences. And then Cassius will, or Shannon will come back and tell you a little bit about her 4-H program. One of the things I do is photography, so I, I thought this morning I would share with you some pictures and examples of some of the program areas that I work in. And those are in leadership, team building, photography, and science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Good morning, this is Cassius McAllister, and I'm one of the 4-H agents here. And, I, and I'm going to talk to you about the relevance of our Youth Choice, Youth Voice event. Uh, Tarrant County, uh, we're going to have students that are going to, um, to uh, motivate our underserved youth to, to uh, take action regarding nutritional deficiencies, healthy food choices, and physical activity. So this weekend on November 16th at TCC South Campus, our Healthy Living Ambassadors are going to uh, teach uh, about 300 youth that are members, uh, that are participants in the Generation Hope Laptop Program on such topics as Power Up to Eat and Read It Before You Eat It. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank Members of the court, we can now go to item C. This is the 2006 uh, Capital Improvements and Transportation Program. I'm going to ask Transportation to come up and talk to you a little bit about uh, uh, where we are on some of the projects, especially on the, uh, the funds that may be available to you. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. I will be very brief, but I do have some good news to share with you uh, this morning. At the uh, conclusion of fiscal year 2013, we have realized excess funds of $6,494,522. Uh, in accordance with the excess funds policy that uh, was adopted by the court, those funds will be divided equally by, for 
uh, each court member's discretionary fund in the amount of $1,298,904. The uh, big contributor, obviously, this time around was the conclusion of the uh, North Tarrant Parkway project. That project alone contributed about $4.9 million to that excess fund pot. Be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we have at this time, Your Honor. Then we will recess our open meeting and proceed to close to discuss items exempted under sections 551.071, 072, 074, 067, and 087 of the Texas Government Code. Resolution in order authorizing the use of the power of eminent domain to acquire uh, state on the ha behalf of the state of Texas a temporary construction easement. This requires the reading of a very long and detailed motion. I move that the Terrence County Convention Court authorize the use of the power of eminent domain to acquire a temporary construction easement over and across 0.0509. 2nd any discussion please vote motion passes unanimously thank you honor with regard to item d2 requesting approval to submit a claim form in a class action lawsuit against federal express corporation second. we have a motion a second any discussion please vote motion passes unanimously thank you there being no further business we stand adjourned